we welcome you to the second video of this tutorial whereby we will be discussing different kinds of issues which can be made by an Indian company. This is an elaborated information which is beyond the scope of an IPO. However, to understand exactly how IPO works, we brought to you this rarely known information in simplified manner. Primarily, issues made by an Indian company can be classified as public, rights, bonus and private placements. While public and right issues by companies involve a detailed procedure, bonus issues and private placements are relatively simpler. Let's begin with public issues. When an offer of shares or a convertible securities is made to a new investors for becoming part of shareholders family of the issuer company, it is called a public issue. Public issue can be thus classified into initial public offer and further public offer. We have seen in last video that an initial public offering is when a company issues common stocks or shares to public for the first time in a primary market. If you are new to this tutorial, you may click on i button to refer to our earlier video. Further public offer or follow on public offer known as a FPO is a stock issue of a additional shares made by a company that is already publicly listed and has gone through the IPO process. Then comes the right issues. When an issue of a shares or a convertible securities is made by an issuer company to its existing shareholders as on particular date fixed by them, which is generally known as a record date, is called a right issue. The rights are offered in a particular ratios to the number of shares or a convertible securities held as on record date. If FPO or a right issue happens on the same day, it is known as a composite issue. A composite issue is a one in which an already listed company offers shares on the public come rights basis and make concurrent allotment of the shares. Then comes investors favorite bonus issue. As the name itself suggests, it is the free additional shares distributed to the current shareholders in the proportion of the fully paid up equity shares held by them on a particular date. The issue of this share is made out of company's free reserves. Major difference between bonus issue and a right issue is that bonus issues are completely free in the hands of investor. Last comes private placement. If a company offers shares to a selected group of investors, which may be mutual fund, banks, insurance companies, pension funds, so on and so forth, to raise capital, it is called private placements. This can be done in three types. First is preferential issue. Preferential allotment is the one in which a publicly listed enterprise allots shares to a selected group of investors such as individuals, venture capitalists, insurance or mutual fund companies on a preferential basis. Then comes qualified institutional placement. Qualified institutional buyers are mostly representative of small investors who invest through units of mutual funds, ULIP schemes of insurance companies and pension funds. When any placements of share is done to these players during an IPO, it is called as a qualified institutional placement. If publicly listed company makes a follow on offer of equity shares or the promoters offer shares for a sale wherein the shares are allotted to the QIBs only, then it is known as Institutional Placement Program, IPP. We heard an issuer company term multiple times, which might have ignited a desire among curious minds on various parties involved in the IPO process, which we will be discussing in the next video. To summarize all these concepts, you may pause the video here and see the concluding image. If you are yet to subscribe to our channel and willing to create a second source of income, quickly hit that subscribe button and check out the description of this video to get a link to open DMAT accounts with leading stock broking houses in the country. Stay tuned for the next video which will be launched 